So I recently saw this Venn diagram, you know, those circle graphs that intersect and tell you where there's overlap. So I recently came across one captioned, what the hell is the real world? And in the center circle was the word you and intersecting it was Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TV, and porn. And off to the side, not intersecting at all, was part of a circle called real world. And it made me think how many of us, well, how I, spend most of my time in front of a computer screen and in front of a filter to the real world because that's what essentially it is, at least to me. And more and more we're letting others editorialize our lives instead of going out and living it. At least I am. <laughs> and we eventually don't even realize that we're living our lives behind filters. I think sometimes we even see them as magnifying glasses, as entryways to other people's lives, to how the world really is. I, I mean, that's how I thought about it in the very beginning. Wow, this is amazing. This is how the world really is. And I started creating videos of how my world really was. And I started editing those videos so I can show you how my life really was. But the key word there is I started editing and I don't think that anyone can really see how my life or your life or our lives really are if we're editing our lives. I think maybe in editing we are trying to find something more profound. Trying to pick out those really important parts in your life where you can look back and say, hey, I did that, or I met that person, and look how amazing the life that I led was. As an editor, you're always looking for the most dramatic moment, the funniest, the most profound, the quirkiest, maybe the most still. And I think we just try to put all of that together, scrunch it all up together in the timeline of our lives so that it has, so that when we look at it, it makes sense. Because in the timeline of our lives, there are mistakes, there are fumbles, and if we could just somehow erase all of that, Add those imperfections where they make sense in the larger context of our lives, then we can find some sort of meaning. And maybe video provides that. I used to think that I liked recording things because it was a way for me to remember. I have such a horrible memory that documenting my life assured me that I wouldn't forget. But I don't know that that's the reason anymore. I think that I record my life so I can see it, so I can evaluate it, so I can edit it and make it what I want it to be.